Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the stream pipeline. So you can see the slide, right? So to perform a sequence of operation over the elements of the data source and aggregate their results, three parts are needed, right? Uh, with respect to stream API, you require a source uh, through which you can create the stream that may be a array or a string and that may be some other thing as well so you require a source then you perform the intermediate operations so you may have one or many intermediate operations and finally you have a terminal operations and terminal operation will have only one intermediate operations returns a new modified stream right so whenever you perform intermediate operation then you got the modified stream itself for example to create a new stream of existing one without without few elements the skip method should be used right if you want the stream to be returned uh, by skipping first element right this element you want so you can use skip one means first is You'll, and you get the stream of a string again but this once modified a stream will contain only these two elements because first elements we are just skipping so this is called intermediate operations because after doing this is a stream dot off this is a stream again you are calling a skip method on this and finally you are getting a stream of a string so this is a intermediate operations so you got the modified stream right and modified stream will have only second and third elements if more than one modification is needed intermediate operation can be changed assume that we also need to substitute every elements of current stream of a string with the sub string of first few cats this will be done by changing the skip and map method so now twice modification as a stream we get suppose we have a stream right and Suppose we have a, this stream, this part, a string dot off, and this part you have over here, and you store in some local variable and give the name as a stream. Then a stream dot skip, and you just you want to skip the first element, and then after you are applying the again map elements. So a skip is here intermediate operation. Again map is also a intermediate operation, and here just we are passing the lambda expressions, and here we have written lambda arrow element dot sub string 0 to 3 so basically just we are replacing every elements substituting every elements uh, basically we are just extracting suppose first element we have a, a b c d so just we are taking character from 0th index to first index so last index is exclusive so 0 to 2 so 0 1 2 so that will give a b c here b b c and C B C that will be extracted but here as you have applied a skip so first element will be a skip and for second stream bbc and cbc will be extracted from this stream and that will be stored into this stream of stream now you can see the map method takes a lambda expression so here you can see map x map is taking lambda expression as a parameter a stream by itself is worthless the real thing a user is interested in uh, interested in is a result of terminal operations so if you have a stream but you do not call any terminal method on that then that is worthless which can be which can be a value of some type if you once you call the terminal method then which can be a value of some type or an action applied to every elements of the stream so here basically we are just skipping the first elements and just we are applying some action or some you can say behavior on the every elements of this stream so only one terminal operation can be used per stream right so per stream you can apply only one terminal operation and once you apply the terminal operation then a string is assumed to be a consumed one after that you cannot further you cannot use that a stream right that we had already seen in previous video tutorial if you try to i mean call 
any method of consumed skin then you will get illegal estate exception which already we have seen in previous video tutorial the right and most convenient way to use a steam are by a steam pipeline which is a chain of a steam source uh, chain of a steam source intermediate operations and terminal operations so you have a source and you call some intermediate operations and finally you call the terminal operations and these three operations you can chained all together so here you can look at here so you have a list of a stream and list of things you are just calling the stream method and you call this so a stream is again intermediate operations so this will list dot stream will return you receive a stream itself now we are just calling a skip method and we are trying to skip first elements and again skip is intermediate operation finally we are calling map method and map method we have written the lambda expression right so and every string is just we are extracting from 0th index to first so that will give you a b c so a b c one this will be skipped because we are just trying to skip first elements so that will pick up from second string onwards and just we have applied the sorted method on that this is also intermediate operation and finally we are just calling the count method which is the terminal operations so count will be returned and that will be stored into the long variable so that's all we have discussed and these whatever i mean quotes in it we have discussed in this uh, video tutorial those code already i have written this client program so if i run so let's discuss what uh, what output we are expecting from this code so basically a stream has a off method which is holding three elements and just we are calling a skip method on this and operation of this right side is returning a stream of a string itself and we have stored in the local variable once modified stream and once modified stream just we are trying to iterate so we are expecting output these two elements right because first element just we are skipping now second code snippet again we have created a stream using off method which is available in stream interface this is returning us the stream itself now on a stream just we are calling the skip method which is intermediate operations so just we want to skip first elements and then we have applied map and in map every elements just we are substituting we are taking elements from 0th index to uh, second index right so this is exclusive one so that is n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 2 so this will give you the output like bcd and xyz now third operations just we have a list of string and list of string we are calling just a stream method so this is intermediate operation again this will return you the stream itself then we are calling a skip method on this so this elements will be skipped now we have applied again map operations so basically similar operation we are doing what we have done over here and we are calling the terminal uh, sorted method so this is also intermediate operation finally we are calling terminal operation so so first elements we are just skipping from second elements just we are extracting so this will take abc again abc and this will store into this up to here this stream will contain the two elements right and again we are just applying the sorted method so this will elements so which is in the stream will be sorted out and finally we are calling the count which is a terminal method so count would be 2 and that will be stored into this local variable and same we are printing over here. So let me run this and see here we are getting the output for for first for first SOP we were expecting BCD, BBCD, BBCD and CBCD. So each of we got and for second we were expecting bcd and xyz so that we got and finally we are expecting output as a counter sorry size as a 2 so we got 2 over here so i hope you understood over here so how we can uh, pipeline the stream and how we can perform the i mean a stream in as a chained operations so those things i wanted to discuss over here hope you enjoyed learning this and thanks for watching this video see you in the next video tutorial